It's always weird when someone tries to catch lightning in a bottle twice. Usually it doesn't work. The end result winds up being a mix of disappointment and embarrassment and might even sully the original work. It's especially bad when it's something that's beloved. Look at what's happened with Star Wars and Star Trek. Sometimes it's better to just leave well enough alone. And that was my first reaction to finding out that Babylon 5 is getting rebooted and will appear on The CW, a network known for questionable choices in shows and a bizarre obsession with lesbians. I wasn't a fan of Babylon 5 until recently. I was watching the BBC with Gary and Az and they mentioned that they were going to watch the series all the way through. So I figured I'd give it a go myself. One of my friends had tried to get me to watch it when it was airing, but I wasn't interested. But now was as good a time as ever. I binge watched the entire series over the course of two months. So now you know why I wasn't making videos. And honestly, I think I might have hurt myself if I had watched this when it aired. Because there's no way I could have waited a week, let alone a year, to get the rest of the story. Five seasons, about 20 to 22 episodes a season, and there's maybe 10 bad episodes in total. It's that good. It's easily some of the best character-driven storytelling I've ever encountered. Just the journey of Londo and Jakar is worth watching the show alone. You think you know what they're about in the first season, Jakar being a conniving military braggart, and Londo being a snooty aristocrat. Mm -mm. No, it's much deeper than that. Just some mild spoilers. Watching Londo become a monster and the gradual, almost casual way it happens is so well written it's frightening. It's a perfect demonstration of how someone who could be a good person becomes evil without even realizing just how horrible he's become until it's too late, while also not being that sorry for what he's done. In the scene where Jakar is trying to stop the genocide of his people and Sheridan won't let him do it because it'll be worse if Jakar gets his way, so he just has to let his people be massacred? Brilliance. Absolute brilliance. You can just feel his agony. And the performances just keep getting better. Like the entire fourth season with Michael Garibaldi and his arc. You've got his character shift and you're just waiting for him to realize what's happened to him for the whole season. And when he finally learns the truth, oh my god, is just so good. So many great episodes, so many great stories, and most of them written by J. Michael Straczynski, the creator of the show. That's part of the reason the show worked. JMS had the entire five seasons planned out and wrote in what he called trap doors just in case people left the cast, which happened. This allowed him to tell a cohesive story more like a long film instead of the usual all-in-one episodes, but they were written so well that you could actually show some of them out of order and they still work. The casting was another element that made the show so awesome. So many great actors whose performances elevated the other actors. The chemistry of the cast on screen was brilliant and the performances iconic. It's hard to imagine anyone else portraying these characters. The one thing the show had against it was a piss poor budget. It always looked like they were on set and usually not a very good one. I don't think they shot anything that was actually on location. Because the show was set on the space station they could get away with that. But since they didn't have much of a budget you can easily tell when they just threw a set together compared to the reuse sets which weren't that great to begin with. Babylon 5 also used all CG starships which is the first for TV but the visual effects don't hold up well. Towards the end of the series the effects got a little bit better but not by much. With all that in mind, I can see why people wouldn't want the show rebooted. It's a classic and it's going to be hard to reach that level again. However, I think it could work. JMS and Warner Brothers Television are running things, just like before. JMS knows the series, it's his baby. So unless he's gotten super woke or lost his skill over the years, it should still be good. One of the things that happened in the original series is that the original lead character Sinclair left the show because the actor was suffering from mental issues at the time. This shifted the story which JMS had planned for with the trap doors, but it's not clear by how much. A reboot could allow him to skip over Sinclair and start the story with Sheridan instead of having to bring him in later. This could also help with storylines like those involving Psychor and a particular person with insane psionic powers whose storyline just gets tabled because the actress left the show. The advances in visual effects would make the show look so much better, depending on how much of a budget it gets. If they give it Superman and Lois money and the team is careful with how they use the effects, it could look really good. The other thing is that JMS may change elements of the series that were a little wonky or not fleshed out or things that he intended to do but couldn't. There's one thing with a particular character where in the pilot her appearance is slightly different from what she looks like in the first season because she was originally intended to be a he and when a certain transformation happens, he would switch sexes. That was scrapped after the pilot but it could be brought back playing on some modern concepts but also showing just how alien these other species are. I'm kinda hoping it'll be like the Battlestar Galactica reboot, which may be a fool's hope, but it could happen. It's not impossible, just very unlikely. 
This really hinges on JMS and if he's going to keep the ambiguity of the original series or inject it with some very specific political views. I hope he keeps the original tone and explores some of the modern political concepts within the reboot so we can see what things are like from all sides. That's part of what makes the show so brilliant. It challenges everyone's views and shows you that things aren't always what they appear to be. We're missing that in modern storytelling, whether it's on TV, film, video games, comics, and novels. We need more nuance, more stories to challenge our way of thinking, and science fiction is the perfect vehicle to do that. So, I'm hoping it'll be good. I don't think it will be, but I really would like it to be. i like one show to be brought back and not suck ass. Is that so much to ask? But what do I know? I'm just some guy.